Welcome to everyone to Sauce Time Gaming. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video once again. And today we're going to be talking about season four as it came through and really shook things up with tons of quality of life changes, a new Warzone map, as well as new weapons to make part of our loadouts. And today specifically, we're going to be covering the best long range builds for the new LMG, the UGM-8. Now, a couple of things to note here as we move later into the testing phase. Uh, this weapon is sort of a hybrid with the AS44 having that initial recoil kick that many people don't really tend to like. And then that nice sustained fire recoil pattern. Uh, and then combine that with the MG42, which has a really high fire rate. And uh, it, it just really feels and sounds very similar. So you're going to get that feel if you use the MG42 for a while but uh, with that said it's a fast firing lmg that can be built for good mobility so if you're definitely someone that is a fan of lmgs and still doesn't like to feel bogged down by its weight this is a fantastic option for you but without further ado let's go ahead and hop on right into the testing so as the testing runs in the background i want to talk about a couple of different things we did when testing the ug m8 uh, first is the muzzles because they went ahead and added some recoil benefits to different muzzles that people didn't intend to use we went ahead and checked those out i still don't think people are going to be using them because being suppressed or having fast fire rate tend to be the way to go but nonetheless we went ahead and checked them anyway uh we went ahead and checked a barrel that really didn't give you any extra recoil control i just wanted to see if there was any variety in the barrel department for this weapon uh we went ahead and tested nerves of steel in the perk one slot which i noticed that i was able to just hurt myself with the thermite and that could just kind of give me that recoil control i needed when i was hurt um and it gives you an actually really strong recoil control but it might throw you off in a fight because you're controlling the pattern and then suddenly the pattern stops if you get shot so it's a bit of a weird interaction but it's a very strong perk for recoil control and then lastly uh, i went ahead and checked the magazine types because there is sort of an issue where the only magazine that doesn't have a certain level of bloom it seems or a really prevalent uh, recoil randomness factor to it is the 6.5 millimeter sakura 125 rounds and i went ahead and tweeted out to raven uh, about this situation because it pretty much limits your magazine to this one because as you'll see from the recoil patterns on the builds I'll suggest in a moment uh, you get a lot of spread on your ADSing and that's a bit of a weird stretch when you're trying to engage in longer fights and so you'll see it with the pattern and you can even try it out and let me know in the comment section if uh, you agree with the thoughts here that the magazine just doesn't really work for long range engagements or not and then make your own uh, assessments at that point but without further ado let's go ahead and talk about the best long range builds so for our first build today we're going to be talking about the all-rounder ugm8 where we're focusing really on the initial recoil which again we talked about at the beginning that this weapon was very similar to the as44 in its initial kick so the build in this case goes as the mx silencer the bernard xl2147362 millimeter the M1941 handstop, lengthened, stippled grip for that initial kick, the, Ro the Romald Tac YR stock for that initial kick once again. Uh, you also have the Bernard Forte uh, 7, but uh, the sustained fire penalty there really hits you a bit too hard for my liking, so this option here is perfect. And then for uh, the optic, whatever you want to run, of course. Um, for the magazine, this build actually, despite the situation with the magazine type, this build actually complements every magazine type very well. So it's an all-rounder build that you can run anything with. And then for perk one, you don't have to run tight grip, which is a fantastic thing if you do want extra control. Although again, it might reduce your pattern in a way that gives you more side-to-side -side wobble. Uh, you could run tight grip, but to be honest, I would recommend you run something like for bullet velocity or maybe driller if you're running combat scout, uh, gung ho if you want to go crazy in that sense, nerves of steel if uh, if you you don't feel you'll be thrown off by that extra recoil control when you get shot. But um, whatever you want to run here is perfectly fine. I'll be running bullet velocity most likely just to get the best uh, registry of bullets. And then perk two if you want to run on hand for that extra aim down sight speed or fully loaded, that's completely up to you. But this build right here is the best all-rounder and the most consistent build i think you're going to find at the time and even in the future 
Now, for our second build, we're going to be talking about a fast fire rate build. Now, this one is just really focusing on control and the fastest fire rate possible. So, we're going to be running the Recoil Booster, the Bernard XL214 736mm, M1941 Handstop, the 6.5mm Sakura 125 round for the extra fire rate it gives you, lengthened Pine Tar Grip, which uh, based on testing this one was really consistent, uh, tight grip, fully loaded, Romal Tech YR, and whatever side you want, of course. You can also run on hand if you don't want to run fully loaded. That's completely up to you. But this is pretty much a uh, aggressive, fast-firing, and controllable UGM-8. And for our last build today, and this is my favorite by far, and maybe I'm a sucker for uh, for burst weapons, but and because I love the Etro burst, and this one reminds me so much of it, this is the e the not the Etro UGM, but the burst UGM eight. And the build for this one is the MX silencer, uh, which you can also set up with the recoil booster. It, it depends on the bullet registry and how you feel with the weapon. Uh, the Romwald 560mm DA, which is the one that gives you that burst. You cannot toggle to auto, uh, but you can just hold the trigger button and it'll automatically burst one behind the other. So it's an automatic burst weapon if you want to look at it that way. Uh, heavy foregrip for a consistent recoil recovery. Idle sway control because you want to stay on target as much as possible for those bursts. And reduced scope sway and gun bob. Um... The magazine type, you can run anything you want, but you will get a little bit more ADS spread if you're running any other uh, option. And again, we're trying to aim for the fastest fire rate because this is a burst weapon and the faster it fires, the better for us. So I would recommend to keep the 6.5mm Sakura. I've been running incendiary with these. It's pretty fun, as you can see uh, on the clip throughout the video. And I've been having a blast with it so far in Rebirth. Maybe in Caldera, it doesn't fare as well. Maybe you want to run lengthened in that case, but incendiary has been extreme fun for me. Stipple grip tape, surveil for that extra bullet velocity that you're missing out with the incendiary, which you could also help to compensate with the recoil booster if you choose to go that route. Whatever side you prefer, I'm using the 3 to 6X. Bernard Forte 7 uh, for the stock and fully loaded or on hand, whatever you prefer to run. But this one is by far my favorite UGM-8 build. And I would love to know in the comment section if you would be a fan of running this four round burst UGM-8. But there you have today's three best long range builds for the UGM-8. And there you have Recoil Breakdown episode 16. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and for reaching this point of it if you did. I thank you truly and each one of you that are a part of this channel. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you're not, uh, please consider if you want to stay up to date with all the regulars for Sauce Time Gaming, stay up to date with the best Recoil Control builds, then uh, click that subscribe button down below. If you did like today's video and today's builds, Click that like button and comment down below. Are you enjoying Fortune's Keep? Are you going to be trying out any of these builds once you unlock this new LMG? Let me know all of those things. I would love to be able to interact with all of you. But with nothing else left to say, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And through it all, I hope you always remember. Oh, and click on this video so you can learn the best controller settings if you are a controller player. Sauce Time Gaming.